Hello and welcome to this informative YouTube video on the relationship between telemedicine and health insurance provision. In this video, we will explore how telemedicine is changing the way health insurance is provided and the benefits it offers to both patients and healthcare providers. We will discuss the different types of telemedicine services, how they are covered by health insurance, and the factors that influence insurance coverage. We will also look at some of the challenges that need to be addressed, including regulatory and legal issues, privacy and security concerns, and limitations in diagnostic accuracy. We will examine how insurance providers are working to overcome these challenges and ensure that patients have access to high-quality, affordable telemedicine services. Whether you are a patient, healthcare provider, or insurance industry professional, this video will provide valuable insights into the evolving landscape of telemedicine and health insurance provision. So, sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of telemedicine and health insurance. Telemedicine is defined as the provision of medical services using telecommunications technology, such as video conferencing, telephone, or messaging services. It enables healthcare providers to remotely diagnose, treat, and monitor patients without the need for in-person visits. This method of healthcare provision has become increasingly popular in recent years, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, as a way to deliver healthcare services remotely. This has led to many changes in the healthcare industry, including the way health insurance providers cover telemedicine services. It can be used for a wide range of healthcare services, including primary care, mental health, and specialist consultations. However, it's important to note that not all medical services can be provided through telemedicine, and some conditions may still require in-person evaluations and treatment. How Telemedicine Work Telemedicine works by using telecommunications technology to connect healthcare providers and patients remotely. The exact process may vary depending on the specific platform or software being used, but generally, telemedicine appointments follow these steps. 1. Scheduling The patient schedules a telemedicine appointment with their healthcare provider either through an online scheduling system or by contacting the provider's office. 2. Platform selection The healthcare provider and patient agree on a platform to use for the telemedicine appointment such as a video conferencing app or messaging service. 3. Connection At the appointed time, the patient and healthcare provider connect through the chosen platform using a computer, tablet, or smartphone with a camera and microphone. 4. Appointment The healthcare provider conducts the appointment, which may include discussing the patient's symptoms, reviewing medical history, and performing a visual exam. Some telemedicine platforms also allow for the sharing of images or test results. 5. Follow-up After the appointment, the healthcare provider may provide further instructions or schedule a follow-up appointment either in person or through telemedicine. It's important to note that not all medical conditions are appropriate for telemedicine, and some situations may still require an in-person evaluation or treatment. Additionally, Telemedicine appointments may be subject to different privacy and security regulations than in-person appointments, so it's important to choose a reputable telemedicine platform and review their policies carefully. Types of Telemedicine Services There are several different types of telemedicine services that can be used to provide remote healthcare. 1. Live Video Conferencing this involves using real-time video and audio to provide consultations between patients and healthcare providers. Patients can speak with a doctor or nurse practitioner in real time, without having to be in the same physical location. 2. Store and Forward This method involves the transmission of medical data, such as medical images or lab results, from one healthcare provider to another for analysis or consultation. This can be useful for situations where a specialist's input is needed, but the patient is not able to travel to the specialist's office. 3. Remote Patient Monitoring This type of telemedicine involves the use of devices that allow healthcare providers to monitor a patient's vital signs and other health data remotely. 
patients can use devices such as blood pressure monitors, glucose meters, and wearable fitness trackers to collect data that can be transmitted to their healthcare provider for analysis and follow-up. 4. Mobile Health This type of telemedicine involves the use of mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets, to deliver healthcare services. Patients can use mobile apps to schedule appointments, access health information, and communicate with healthcare providers. 5. Online Consultations This involves providing consultations and advice through an online portal or chat platform. Patients can communicate with healthcare providers through secure messaging or video conferencing without having to leave their homes. 6. Mobile Health, M Health this involves the use of mobile devices, such as smartphones or tablets, to deliver healthcare services and information. It can include health apps, remote consultations, and mobile health devices for monitoring health status. 7. Teleconsultation This involves remote consultation between healthcare providers for the purpose of providing specialized medical expertise to another healthcare provider or to a patient. 8. Telepharmacy This involves the use of telemedicine to provide pharmaceutical services, such as medication therapy management, medication counseling, and prescription refills. Each type of telemedicine service has its own unique advantages and limitations, and the choice of which type to use will depend on the specific needs of the patient and the healthcare provider. Factors that may contribute to the rise to popularity of telemedicine there are several factors that have contributed to the rise in popularity of telemedicine. 1. Advances in technology The development of reliable, high-speed internet connections and the increasing availability of mobile devices have made it possible to provide healthcare services remotely. 2. Improved healthcare access Telemedicine can provide access to healthcare services for patients who live in rural or remote areas, have mobility issues, or have difficulty accessing traditional healthcare settings. 3. Convenience Telemedicine offers patients the convenience of accessing healthcare services from their homes or workplaces, without the need to travel to a healthcare facility. 4. Cost Savings Telemedicine can reduce the cost of providing healthcare services by eliminating the need for travel and reducing administrative costs. 5. COVID-19 Pandemic The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a surge in telemedicine use as patients and healthcare providers seek to reduce the risk of exposure to the virus by minimizing in-person visits. 6. Shortage of Healthcare Providers Telemedicine can help alleviate the shortage of healthcare providers by allowing them to see more patients remotely, without the need for travel. 7. Aging Population The aging population has increased demand for healthcare services, and telemedicine offers a way to provide care to seniors who may have difficulty traveling to a healthcare facility. Overall, the rise in popularity of telemedicine can be attributed to a combination of technological advancements, changing patient preferences, and healthcare industry trends. End of Part 1 In our next video, we will explore how healthcare insurance providers can reduce costs by embracing telemedicine. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. And we will see you again shortly.